contentless seek feedback drives uh, on uh, uh, instant uh, uh, graphi uh, gra gratification. Respond quickly and expect repeat response in return perfect, uh, prefers uh, typing to handwriting. Uh, we have uh, we have identif identified some teaching approaches that they uh, contradic contradictory to the uh, contem contemporary students need. This gap is especially uh, uh, obvious in teaching computer-related disciplines. Uh, complete step-by-step -step instruction and exclusively individual learning are not longer effective. Uh, this context led educators to a uh, revision of present teaching strategies. Change speaker. Uh -huh. <laughs> how, how often? <laughs> Once. Okay, um, uh, hello, my name is uh, Anna Vandrelot and uh, I'm uh, glad to continue this presentation of our report. So as you understood, so we uh, uh, found out the gap between our methods and our strategies and results of uh, uh, students. Uh, so we found contradictions and we uh, tried to, uh, write, uh, to try them down and then to every contradiction to, uh, to find, uh, uh, to match uh, some uh, characteristic of uh, this uh, new generation. So, <coughs> the first contradiction was uh, uh, that uh, all uh, traditional uh, computer courses, they disregard uh, the, the actual level of uh, ICT competence of the students. So, we had uh, many, uh, uh, several polls, and the results of this poll uh, uh, they uh, confirmed our thoughts about uh, our students and uh, uh, this is uh, to this contradiction as uh, text savvy uh, characteristic is uh, fitted as you see uh, 80 and 4 percent percent for respond of respondents have started to use the computer for learning seven years ago or earlier as you see it's uh, much time the next is relying on search. You know that the traditional way to uh, teach computer uh, disciplines is to give uh, students to students uh, uh, complete step-by-step -step instruction. But uh, for why? If uh, they can use search engines uh, and uh, get uh, the information from the internet. About 26% uh, uh, of the students classified uh, search engines uh, as uh, most frequently used sites on the internet. And uh, the next contradiction is uh, connected with interest in multimedia and visual communication. Uh, we used to see instruction without uh, uh, pictures, without video, uh, but now we have, uh, t we can see tents that uh, try to get, uh, to fill this gap. And uh, we tried to find uh, many movies, movie clips, and uh, some games, and some other uh, multimedia content to every, to every uh, part of our uh, discipline. And uh, as you see, movies and computer games have the second p uh, position among the purposes of using computer rented by students. And the next uh, uh, contradiction is creation of the internet content. A certain percent of students uh, mention the creative activity as a major purpose for using a computer. So our children, our students uh, are creative, so let them create something, something useful. And the next uh, contradiction is uh, a multitask on everything. Uh, they can uh, do many things at the same time. For example, some of my students try to uh, 
to, ta uh, to do my uh, task uh, and do it uh, with on computer and uh, maybe to write or to repeat some other materials. I try uh, not to force them to finish it because uh, they are very grateful for this uh, attitude and their results uh, are excellent. So for why I should uh, strict, uh, strict this uh, this situation. Okay, and uh, the next contradiction is that they are emotionally open. As you see, social nets were ranked as the second position by the students. You know, all our students uh, can use uh, social nets as Facebook, uh, Contacte, and uh, forums and other things. And uh, we try to develop this um, direction. Uh, we use uh, social games, ice breaking, and uh, mm, team building uh, at the beginning of uh, each hour lesson. And the, uh, uh, the last, uh, boy, uh, the last uh, stage, uh, stage is teamwork and cooperation. Uh, we think uh, that uh, mm, we should uh, add a uh, much uh, pa uh, big part of uh, group works and pair works uh, to uh, uh, to offer students uh, to communicate and use computer for group uh, work and uh, we use such uh, services as uh, uh, co-mapping and other uh, intellectual uh, uh, memory cards using maps and uh, this maps and um, to uh, use uh, some uh, services like uh, Google Docs that uh, offers us uh, um, online uh, co cooperation. Okay, and uh, we have some statistics. We want to share it with you. We uh, have uh, um, uh, um, about 200 uh, res respondents. So I think uh, this data is uh, quite uh, has uh, high quality. So uh, we can uh, and we uh, made two stage of polling, and now we can uh, uh, compare the data of uh, 2011, 2012 year and 2012 and 2013 year. Uh, so, in 2011, 89 uh, uh, of respondents owned a computer uh, or laptop, and now 100% of students are owners of computer. Uh, then, uh, the statistics uh, has now changed uh, about access to the internet. It's about 70%. Uh, However, a number of students who recognize themselves addicted to the internet has grown from 24 to uh, 32%. So maybe it's uh, some a new task for educators like us to make uh, the work in uh, the direction of uh, maybe a propaganda of uh, health life and uh, to help students to control their time with this computer. Uh, mm, and 17% of uh, students said they had never visited the university website, but only uh, on that faculties uh, that uh, haven't uh, appreciated their use. Uh, educators on, uh, with educators who, uh, who didn't uh, use it themselves. And uh, the number of positive, uh, positive attitude towards to the, to the use ICT in education has increased. It was a uh, previous yes. Okay, you can see this, uh, this whole uh, information from uh, this poll. And uh, the, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, the next the next um, uh, diagram uh, presents no, no, uh, 
represents uh, the purpose of using uh, to do lessons, uh, to communicate with friends, uh, to learn something new, to entertain myself. And uh, and the next okay. And this is statistics how uh, students uh, uh, estimate themselves as a computer user. Their estimation is uh, wrong. They estimate themselves as an advanced user, but it's uh, but we uh, have used entrance tests like EDSL and uh, uh, the results are not so high so uh, they think if they can use Google they uh, are advanced user users but it's not true and you can see that from 3 to 2 point uh, this test is not very difficult uh, is 62% uh, uh, and we want to describe our problems in uh, organizational and uh, issues and students' attitudes. It's, there are deadlines and time management. Students uh, can't uh, manage their time and maybe they should uh, have uh, support how to, uh, or maybe discipline like time management. They always forgot their logins and passwords and we uh, were thinking about this and I don't know, we don't know now how to uh, get through this problem. Uh, they, uh, they, uh, sometimes they use uh, not in appropriate um, way the terms uh, that uh, are connected with computer. Uh, and it's uh, difficult sometimes to switch uh, to another environment, for example, to another browser or something like this. Uh, some students, uh, Till now, they work uh, not so fast as uh, other part. Uh, the problem of plagiarism is a big problem for us and for computer dis uh, disciplines. But we, uh, if we, you uh, will uh, use more creative tasks for them, and uh, you will uh, show them uh, the importance of their uh, creative task. They, uh, the problem of plagiarism is disappears uh, almost uh, fully, and uh, also we use uh, social assessment. Uh, this is a situation when uh, students uh, can uh, assess works of each other, and uh, uh, this assessment is. Uh, is uh, a very important, uh, uh, is a great stimul for them to, uh, to, to, to do their, to create their own work. Uh, they don't, do not like read. Uh, sometimes I, uh, I saw in papers uh, that this, um, uh, called uh, a name of this uh, generation, not reading generation. They like uh, pictures, uh, movies, but they don't like read. They, see, they think that reading is a very boring and uh, unuseful thing. So they better attend to ask ten times their colleagues, their teachers, uh, rather, rather to read once. And uh, lack of collaborative activities and collaborative skills they are so confused when you offer them to work together I think it's a result of previous education and they um, strive for feedback uh, for feedback for th about their own works and uh, they want they wish to uh, evaluate the teachers work too so they I think feedback is uh, is a very important stage. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we worked out the strategies about uh, disciplines that are connected with using computer. About uh, discipline con uh, content. content. 
uh, listen is that a teacher of uh, ICT discipline should encourage uh, to uh, use new approaches and new technologies and highlights uh, main current trends in ICT development. Uh, task presuppose creative activity and uh, form skills of self-learning and further development. Examples should be uh, inspired. Ins ins <laughs> uh, task uh, execution. Uh, the task execution should be useful for their present profession, and uh, uh, all all elements of discipline are focused on future professional activities. About students' motivation, we sh we think that uh, the first. Uh, <coughs> you should do is uh, to help students to see themselves in their future profession, particular, particularly in the teaching profession. As you remember, only 50 percent 50 of students uh, see themselves in uh, future teachers, as, as future teachers. Uh, and it's important to emphasize interest to the students' opinion. The, this, uh, you are welcome to, uh, to get their contribution and to offer uh, them to make, to make their own contribution and to express their opinion. Um, students want to get a feedback from his colleagues about his works. Any result of creative task should pass following stage. It's very important, we think. Creation, publication and social assessment. With very important with definite criteria. It's uh, uh, we think it's very uh, important to work with definite criteria. As teachers, uh, you should uh, give students definite criteria uh, how uh, they should uh, assess their own work and how you will uh, assess their work with them. Students want to evaluate a teacher's work too. I said about that. And organization, uh, organizational uh, issues. Takes presuppose collaboration, facilitate communication and interaction to develop personal aspects of students to help to re uh, realize their uh, individual. Uh, as I said, it's ice breaking, team building, and training. Uh, training elements, plan structure, planning, to-do list and deadline system to, uh, to help them to get used to, uh, uh, to work in system with deadlines and uh, to use time management. Formative uh, assessment techniques and um, okay so Sorry, how much time? Uh, you have uh, the remaining time, five minutes. Okay. So, uh, so I, uh, I will... Maybe about uh, conclusion. Sorry? Maybe about... Uh, you about can uh, make ten? conclusion. Uh, <laughs> okay. So... Uh, I want to say that our strategies, they, uh, maybe they better are form formulated in our paper, but they were very successful and we are glad to get that feedback uh, as we have got. And uh, our students sent us uh, many emails and just uh, said in words uh, how they appreciate that uh, strategy that we uh, tend to do now. And uh, this is very inspirative for us. And uh, uh, next year we have some more tasks for us. And I think it will be very interesting. We um, hope to connect uh, not only students uh, among themselves, but students and teachers, teachers from school. And so I want you know, to have a look uh, of structure of some of our courses.
visualization, a realized person-centered approach, and teamwork and cooperation. Next, please. Next. Okay, and uh, this, there are um, some uh, services that we use uh, with uh, our students. I just uh, want you to, uh, to have a look. It's our uh, <coughs> okay, Google Docs for uh, co uh, cooperative work together. As you see, it's a social assessment. Everybody has um, this document is shared for everybody, and uh, everybody can assess their uh, own uh, their merits, and then everybody. Um, Count their or uh, their the sums of uh, uh, marks, and uh, there is a rating of students. They they are used to do this. Uh, uh, mostly uh, every lesson we had after they uh, made some work. Okay, next. My master like an online service for uh, co mapping. You can see maps and uh, some uh, services to present information and to publish <coughs> and uh, have social assessment. Um, it's Texedo, free online services and also we try to implement um, to implement blogs and forums and as you see it's uh, one of uh, our um, uh, team, bu uh, team building um, exercise. It, uh, it's named Nobel Prize. Uh, it's, it's, it's good uh, after when, when its course is finished and uh, everybody uh, can uh, have a medal and uh, like virtual, not virtual, but symbolic medal, and uh, uh, he thinks uh, over what he uh, has done and what he has uh, uh, reached uh, uh, during this course, and uh, he writes this down, and then uh, it's like um, uh, getting a Nobel Prize, and it's very funny. And students like this, like this Google Sites. Next. Okay, we use YouTube also. It's one of the moving clip of our students. So, if you want to get started something like this, 
first, to make your own ways, to find knowledge and people, share and create community. Next. Results. Okay. Some results of students' work. It's uh, group essay. It's work clothes, as you see. We printed them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, next. Next. Okay. If you, uh, if you want to, as a teacher, if you want to go this way, <coughs> you will get from children poet points from new genders. From parents, uh, you will get communication and participation. From colleagues, collaboration and partnership. And uh, for you, as <coughs> a professional, new ideas. So, thank you for your attention. Please. Thank you very much. Maybe somebody yes. that showed that students' self-estimation as computer users was wrong. What was the test? What was the test? In transcendence? Ah, okay. In a couple of words. What was the test? What was the essence of the test which showed the self-estimation of students as computer ah, okay. users was wrong? You were computer users by the license. E-C-T-L. E-D-S-L. E-D-S-L. So at first stage, is we had entrance poll where we asked them uh, how can they estimate themselves as computer user, and then uh, the same lesson. Uh, at the same lesson, uh, they had a test uh, like a CDL test. So we just uh, compare the result and they uh, don't match at all. Okay, thank you for your questions. Somebody else, please. Um, I find a lot of what you found out uh, in your uh, in your research uh, aligns with things that we yes. found out in the United <laughs> States. Actually, aligns a lot with yes, my presentation. Have um, do you find that teachers are having a hard time adopting the new methods that you're finding? Because uh, I, I found in the U.S., some teachers, the younger teachers, are m more willing to adopt. The, the new methods or the new strategies, but teachers that have been in the field for a while don't necessarily want to use yes, the new uh, techniques. As you see, we have three authors, so this is our great group. I'm very proud of it and uh, to participate with uh, this group. And uh, I think it's very difficult for some persons to switch on new uh, tendency. But uh, I think it's a great stimulation uh, for them, for such teachers, uh, to, uh, uh, to get a good feedback from students. Because if uh, their students are not happy, <laughs> they are not happy too. Because uh, feelings are shared uh, between us. Uh, so I think if you... The, 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 um, I think uh, it's a very important sign for a teacher uh, to uh, get if uh, he uh, do ev uh, if uh, he does everything in appropriate way. The way uh, is uh, after when uh, the class has finished. How uh, does he feel? He feel good. Uh, I think if you feel better then when you have entrance to your classroom, it's the sign that everything is okay. But uh, if, if, if you don't feel like this, so try to understand what is wrong in your work, I think. So it's, it's my... Oh, yeah. oh, so one, one more question. Uh, Wait. Okay, and it's the uh, uh, last uh, question. Uh, okay, thank yes. you. Uh, after all your experience, uh, what would you like uh, to change in your courses? Is it 
question from a deputy chair. Practical issues. Yes, uh, we, we, uh, as I said, we have new uh, issues that line of our work to cooperate with real teachers from real schools. We think we have a lack from a uh, methodical point for teachers, I mean university for teachers, and we want to understand what, are, what the real situation at schools uh, is. So we decided to uh, to, uh, uh, to connect with uh, local schools and try to uh, make a project where uh, students and teachers can uh, create in pairs create their own uh, works together. Would you like to change attitude of students to IT course? Mm -hmm. Would you like to change uh, attitudes of students in for IT courses? Uh, it's an uh, addition uh, <laughs> part of the first question. It's complex. Uh, uh, complex it's our attitude to the one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I invite the next speaker, uh, not uh, students, Ekaterina Lavlicheva, Artyom Zbirka, and uh, Andrei Aronov. Uh, it's an uh, addition uh, <laughs> part of the first question. It's complex. Uh, uh, complex question. Okay, it's our attitude to one. They okay. are. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I invite the next speaker. Uh, not uh, Ekaterina Lavlicheva, Artyom Zbirka, and uh, Andrei Aronov. Mm -hmm. about education in the world. First of all, my, my course uh, was 
<coughs> realized after curricula 2001 in American course after that this course curricula 2001 был был дует in Ukraine and Russian program in uh, 2006 year. On special, uh, 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 the course software engineering in uh, Ukraine, uh, Ukraine in the program, uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Science, uh, uh, Science uh, for Education. In the, uh, uh, my speech, uh, such as topics, place of software engineering among computer science, history of and key notation for programs factories, reusable components and technology lines at the CNU program factory, a new uh, approach to teaching software engineering. Uh, software engineering. Software engineering uh, about curricular the 2001 the system of methods, methods, means and disciplines for design, developing, running and supporting ready to adopt software. It provides means for the software development for multi pose applied and information system. <coughs> the main principle of so, uh, software engineering productivity, industry and quality. Uh, software engineering uh, it is uh, direction uh, computer science, computer engineering, system engineering and software engineering. Yeah. Relation between discipline, uh, computer science, such as software engineering, industry engineering, and other engineering. Uh, on, on this example. Далее. Школ Гайдс. Language of analytic and formula transformation for solving mathematical problems. Autocode programming language for new computers. Nick, Nick 2, Kiev uh, 67, Kiev uh, 70, Macro Conveyor and other computer which was elaborated in Ukraine. In 1965, uh, Lushko said conception of assembling conveyor which technology, technology lines for software product. In 1978, the first pilot software engineering factory in Kalinin which uh, factory was closed from two years during two, during two years. The programs factory is an integrated infrastructure for composition and development of components, systems, family system, 
automated management system in Canada. Foundation problem factory, system environment, uh, Microsoft, Corb, IBM, Java, Grid, Pam, Alliance for Development and Assembly, Programming Techniques, com uh, te techniques uh, Components, Services, Sales and Aspects, uh, Assets, Resources, Scientific, Engineering, Technical, Technology, Economic and Business. Repository or maybe bibliotheque for ready-made companies, interface, artifacts, software product, assembly, assembling computer. For example, Microsoft Application for Fabric Factory. Uh, factory A and Factory B. Uh, different uh, uh, ready components and two uh, different ready components. Configurator uh, 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 assembling this uh, different component in uh, complex product uh, for uh, different uh, goals. K-factory components such, uh, such as prepared software resource, resource interface as a major uh, stop skeleton between two components containing passport information and uh, resource specific in specific language. IDA, the, uh, IDA definition language. To, to describe interface uh, for different components uh, in language, interface definition language. Operating env environment Will system facilities and tools supporting assembly lines will software resources. Technological lines or product lines uh, for mass uh, production and assembly product. Methods of uh, product development. Uh, uh, reusable component. uh, components. Model components, the uh, model component, components, the type components, the I interface, few functionality, I am implementation, S interability service for work with components and environments. Basic operation specific components and interface, IDL, I. IPI, VSDL, XML, and Entries. Maintenance in repository. Component integration. Application engineering, domain engineering, software family engineering. Product lines at software engineering. About Software engineering institute. Software engineering about yeah, ask uh, Mister uh, about uh, such direction in USA. Uh, 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 product lines of uh, USA Institute Software Engineering. Uh, uh, product line on USA as a product or service. Let's share a common management set of future satisfying in specific needs of a practical market segment or mission and that are development for a common sense of carry assets in 
Press Skype Way. Engineering model. Software Engineering Institute. Development of reusable components. Product family development through reuse configuration. Management of these two activities. Process model. Domain engineering, development for reuse, and application engineering, development will be reused. Main page of factory website, our factory website. Uh, on this uh, exam uh, example, four, uh, four lines. Lines. Uh, uh, Programming in Microsoft Net, uh, software product uh, for uh, repository and assembler will components. Uh, assembling will components. Technology line on our fabrics on our fabrics. It is a tool for companies development according to the cycle standard I, uh, in information of the system organization 20 uh, 207 and composition companies using the interface from various libraries and development environments and from repositories. It is learning such as uh, lines. Ye learning C sharp in Visual Studio Net environment, seven components in two corresponding repository and selected them for the repository to meet market demand demanded in specific software product. Assembling or configuration components in two complex program structure. E learning basic knowledge on software engineering will the dedicated software yet textbooks on this factory. To, uh, uh, on this factory, we have such as technology. Technology of service repository maintenance, technology for um, reuse development, technology for assembling reuse or configuration reuse, generation reuse, will uh, uh, using uh, this um, domain specific language, technology for ontology representation, technology for web service development, and technology for generated data types using standard uh, 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 the formation system organization uh, number uh, uh, 11 for uh, four Four hundred or four standard. The interoperability between such system, Corba, Microsoft Net, Visual Studio Eclipse, Visual Basic, and Visual C. Plus plus. Line for e-learning, C Sharp, and Net design according to. Standard 207 like cycle standard. Elaborated requirement on implementation of system system application function for the domain domain. Specify software elements or artifacts documenting their passport data and interface will uh, IDL and VSDL. 
Storin artefakt in o program in vodži. Repozitorij ima in to in svajen, by mehanizm for documents, components in this language, tools for selected ready-made components and artifacts from repository based on passport data, function, relevant solution example. I am sorry, but remaining time uh, equal for four minutes. Line for Yelonin SE, software engineering textbook. Software engineering discipline, software engineering textbook have described such discipline. Theory, engineering, management, economy, production. Direction of SE course. Base conception principles and methods like based on software engineering knowledge and technology of programming. Mathematical method applied in subject domain. General principles and method design programs. Tools of representation of software product, methods for quality assessment of software product, development environment. Да, да. Да. The students work the different program which. On this, on this speciality, there is a list of the team which the team students realize. Students realize. Website. Program Factory, Unit Kiwa. Perspective Box on this factory program for students. It describes of the process of developing complex program and uh, system family will use um, DCL language. Transformation general data types into fundamental data types from perspective of a stand general <coughs> data types standard uh, 11 for uh, 120 uh, ontological representation a few disciplines for study new applied product lines for business development build appropriated mechanism and uh, software engineering institute product lines approach we have to do in our fabrics thank you thank you very much have you questions I have one question. I have one question. In the beginning of the report, in the beginning of the report, you indicate my name is Karsov Gennady, Karsov State University. In the beginning of the report, you indicated that Quality of uh, in educational software is important uh, parameter of uh, decision uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, research of uh, this. Mm -hmm. This discipline software engineering. Yes, and um, what do you think about who must 
do the monitoring of uh, of uh, uh, this discipline. This no no uh, monitoring of um, quality uh, of uh, uh, educational Politics. resources quality. Educational resources quality. Who must uh, monitoring? Uh, who must uh, do the monitoring of this quality? Uh, quality. Yes. Uh, quality. I say uh, so. In uh, Kyivsky Polytechnic Institute, uh, on my uh, fabrics and uh, program uh, prepare students, students on this uh, approach. I was uh, approach what? Uh, approach software engineering. Approach software engineering. In this year, uh, in uh, Polytechnic Institute, Facultet Energetiki, mm -hmm. uh, um, Захист, захист магистрских работ он software engineering and uh, this 15, 15 uh, box is very uh, high uh, high Yes, but question was about uh, who uh, who must monitoring the content of uh, website? website? Who is the dean or, or teacher? And or other or educational, educational resources? Who must be? Who should be responsible? Uh, yes, yes. I have statistics Google, uh, which uh, user yeah. of our our For fabrics. example. Uh, I, I publish the sub uh, teaching materials yeah, for uh, students. Tam, but uh, teach, teaching software engineering te textbook and they are using students and other uh, users more десять тысяч on statistic uh, Google, <coughs> Google statistic. Now, I have uh, uh, Google statistic in such country, American. Yes, but the Google statistic doesn't give us uh, information uh, about uh, uh, quality of these materials. Not quality. Uh, 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 students. Faculty or uh, uh, some administration, students. central administration. Students or... Students. or uh, Students Кто у вас ответственный? за качество материала, который публикуется у вас на сайте. Образовательный ресурс. А. Вы? Вы как руководитель? Я как преподаватель, как выкладач, как создатель фабрики и материалов, which prepared the students, they discuss all material on lection, on my lection, uh, publish an article about it, and then uh, 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 this material uh, describe on publics. Давайте я по-русски объясню. Ну хорошо, вот может быть вы опубликуете материал, например, как Вики, да? Чтобы студент, например, мог зайти не только прочитать, написать комментарии какие-то, например, что-то добавить. Роль уточнить. студентов, как учитывается при этом? 
Мы, мы не предусмотрели пока такой материал. А, да, да, для... Нет. Там Ведь есть... Это, 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 это продукт... Это продукт... Комментарии это комментарии есть. Только да. Продукт да. Продукт да. адресован да. покупателю. Да. Покупатель да. Нет, все бесплатно раздают. Нет, он, 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 он в кавычках продается, он представляется, им пользование. Да. Так вот, роль их учитывается в оценке качества. Пользователи? Да, студенты. Вот, вот отношения студентов. Нет, 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 нет я, я хочу сказать, там есть раздел. Где, где есть раздел? У, у, на фабрике, когда приходит пользователь, смотрит, изучает. Ага. И... Не на Херсонской фабрике. У нас есть другая фабрика, это шутка. Дальше. Там есть раздел комментариев, когда... То есть у вас есть фидбэк с студентами, которые высказывают свое мнение. Да, да, да. Есть такое. Я Донецк Национальный Техникал Университет. Что вы имеете в виду, когда Что такое фабрика в данном контексте? Fabric knowledge, components, knowledge, components, reusable, which uh, represented students for another students. About artifacts. Ну это реальная фабрика или это учебный какой-то ресурс? Экспериментальная фабрика. Экспериментал фабрика. Спасибо. That's why uh, we, uh, we can make uh, a coffee break at the uh, 5.16 and after we return here at 6. Uh, after we uh, will have uh, three uh, reports. Okay, it will be very interesting. The next uh, author sit here. Okay, we invite you to 516 auditory Development. 
low professional motivation and responsibility, strict regulation of students' activities, not much attention to the levels of training, etc. According to this fact, it said about global educational crisis, the paradigm shift in pedagogical thinking. We are going to trace the change of professional education at different stages of society's development to overcome the crisis of modern edu university education. Down the ages, human language existed primarily in form of sound speech. Its main limitation was space-time limit. Spoken words spread out the territory limited by physical laws of sound and in form of material reality actually existed only while pronouncing. Straight after that passing into the history and vanishes in it. So, during the era of what the Institute of Transmission appeared to be a man. The increase of information amount became the background for writing as it was difficult to keep the information in mind without losing its content. Writing, unlike the sound speech, turned to be the technology of knowledge transfer. So, it allowed to transmit voice information to an unlimited distance and extremely broadened its existence in time. The appearance of printing technology caused an era of books. Definitely, it allowed creation of an effective and mass education system to organize public libraries to ensure the development of universities. The appearance of book as a means of transmitting knowledge promoted the humankind's achievements of those heights which it has now. Humanity experience of the learning process has found expression in didactics that examines general theory of education and training. Object-subject teaching relations between teachers and students of that time were the most prolonged. The subject was the teacher who worked actively to educate students as his subject of influence through informative educational environment, which was to such an extent that a person using only natural abilities was not capable to learn and operate with information resources. As a result, the person begins to use technological tools to optimize working process with information. According to it, labor market no longer corresponds to specialist conveyor training because an employee should make a decision in unusual situations. Naturally, a student becomes an equal subject of educational process. The purpose of creating a new education paradigm is to provide conditions for education, training and development for independent smart person to satisfy the requirements on a market economy to be capable to improve his own level of knowledge and culture to be integrated in the global informative space. In addition, society today has faced the phenomena which require answers. Teacher has lost the monopoly on knowledge. Students have unlimited access to information resources. The phenomenon of redshift in expanding informative and communicative space. Availability of qualitative and quantitative different ICT competences between young and older generation. For that matter, an educational paradigm transforms, which is characterized by the following principles. Globalization of knowledge, free access to educational resources, integration of learning resources, organization of global educational audiences, web multimedia presentation of educational resources, multilingual educational space, a synchrony of modern models for learning management, harmonization of social and educational environment, formation of social identity of information system, and divergence in the implementation of their own educational way. Thus, these are conditions that create new, informative and communicative pedagogical environment, ICPE. This environment creates a new didactic model which includes three subjects of study, students, teachers and the environment. However, is it legitimate to consider ICPE an equal subject for learning along with the teacher and the student? Consideration of information communication teaching environment as a subject is possible because its components are not only technology, but human resources as well. Within this approach, we implement an important target triangle, a natural integration of teaching, research and labor market needs. After all, ignoring the environment as a subject of education will prepare a specialist for inadequate reality. The transition of education system is reflected in the following three stages of didactic changes. 
changes. So the first stage, the subject object, object didactics. A teacher provides students with knowledge. The second stage, subject subject didactics. A teacher and a student are equal component training partners. And the third stage, three subject didactics. The interaction of all subjects of the learning process, a teacher, a student and ICPE, obeys to the common goal, which is formation of a competitive specialist. Thus, we have the right to talk about the three subject relations, which we understand as the continuous and constant interactions between students, teachers, and information and communication pedagogical environment, directed for satisfaction of students' educational needs. According to our research, information and communication learning environment can serve as a subject of the educational process if it meets the following group requirements. The first one, hardware requirements. Multimedia computers should be networked with the obligatory access to the Internet resources, thus creating opportunities to access educational resources for students in any convenient place, for example, library, canteen, etc. The second, software requirements. Software environments should resolve security issues and uh, others to offer opportunities for distance learning. The third group, academic requirements, refer to methods of filling information and communication teaching and environment. And the last group, social demands. Special attention should be paid to a specified group of claims which contains cultural and legal aspects because users of environment create some community. First of all, it is about the rules of communication in the network and use of the rewalks of other authors. However, is ICP a significant, important subject of learning in practice of university operation? The study was conducted at Kherson State University in order to confirm or refute it. The research required a questionnaire of future primary education teachers as they acquire an integrated system of philology, humanities, exact, natural, and artistic sciences, which, in our opinion, reduce the risk of results obtaining only from a certain cycle of training. The main task of the questionnaire is to evaluate the significance of subject of modern educational process, including ICPE. Determining the validity of each of the three subjects was made by expert committee method by expert evaluation method. 27 qualified experts joined the independent expert committee. So the results summary in the data are shown. 214 students as the most significant, the significant subject of didactic system according to experts' definition were asked to rate on 10-point scale the importance of the three subjects, students, teacher, and ICP in the process of operation with information in various forms of training. Let's analyze their results. So, the results of the distribution of three subjects in the process of operation with information during a lecture are presented. Thus, the most important subject of the lecture organization according to students is a teacher, 38%, a student, 31.6%, and ICPE, 29%. In general, during the lecture, principal place of work with information take processing operation, 33.6%, 44% and storing 30%, followed by transfer 19.5% and collecting 17.1%. Let's analyze the data according to the importance of the subjects during the operation and conduction of practice. Thus, a teacher is the most important subject of practical training organization, 36.6%, also a student, 32.1%, and ICPE. 31.3% are equal subjects. Generally, during practical classes, the importance of operation with information is as follows. Processing, 26.8%, transmission, 26.2%, story, 24.4%, and collecting, 22.6%. Let's analyze the importance of subject in the process of students' individual work organization. So according to students, important subjects of independent work are all three components of didactic system. Student, 33.9%, a teacher, 32.4%, and ICPE, 33.7%. During the independent work with information, processing occupies a principal place, 31.5%, then collecting, 
27.9%, followed by stolen 27%, and afterwards transmission 13.6%. Summary results show that according to students, all three subjects are important and significant components of the didactic system. It's important to underline that received students' data correlate well with similar experts' data. The student is a significant subject of a teaching process at the university as learning outcomes largely depend on its intended acquisition of trade. ICP's significance is high during operations with information because it provides access to informational resources at any convenient time quickly and easily, enables to find all necessary information, provides flexible and convenient in information sharing between students and teachers. However, according to average data, ICP significance inferior teachers' importance as a teacher manages students' activity, coordinates their independent improvement of knowledge, skills, and abilities. It should be noted that due to ICPE systematically involving in loan enforcement, the role of it as a new subject will improve gradually because of improving learning outcomes. Thus, the analysis of the scientific literature, theoretical and exper experimental study on transforming learning into different didactic models showed that information and communication pedagogical environment is an important subject of university learning process. ICPE transforms traditional subject-subject model of study into three-subject one, directly affecting and slightly changing the role and function of other subjects of study, partly fingering their functions itself. Thank you for your attention, and we are ready to answer your questions. Anyone has a question? Please. Uh, may I know the opinion of uh, uh, how this ICPE environment, the ICP environment, is related to Moodle or something similar? It is wider than Moodle. Where is it wider? I mean, wider Moodle English. only is a platform, only is a tool. Only. Mm -hmm. And you provide extra some space, it's more. I would like to clarify this because I don't, I don't get the idea from the information. It is possible, please. What is the extra knowledge at, uh, in this in, in response in this ICPE? ICPE, e, it is uh, the information uh, environment that can be um, operate with some um, mm -hmm. Technological tools. It's not only Moodle. It's uh, internet. It's the environment that is created by teachers, by universities. It's not only uh, dependent on one country. It's a global uh, informational wow. environment. Because I thought about something, for example, like Matcard, like some maybe specific tools that are used in some learning process and are integrated into this ICT. I thought about it because Google doesn't allow to just add, this, uh, add the output of Matcast, for example, a file okay. to the... Okay, what is a Matcast? It's just tools for uh, uh, deciding some things, mm -hmm. okay? It's uh, environment, it's more extended, uh, more wide uh, than uh, just uh, mm -hmm. the different tools. It's uh, uh, in uh, information communication technology we include, it's, for example, it's a teacher with the new uh, competence. For example, mm -hmm. it's all because if you compare us the uh, uh, history of didactic system, mm -hmm. we can see how the role of uh, information uh, this, this space is a change. Mm -hmm. That's why we uh, must be consider uh, uh, the influence of uh, this space for didactic model. We can use the difference. For example. Uh, I uh, never use, for example, Matcard, but I use the, uh, myself. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a programmer, I use uh, the my, for example, linear algebra. Mm -hmm. That's why I change. Yeah, I change everything. Mm -hmm. For example, traditional lecture. I remember, for example, 30 years ago, uh, when I go to lecture, I must hear uh, the name of lecture after uh, uh, definition one, definition two, definition three. Uh, 
lambs one, lambs two, lambs three. After theorems, after proof of this theorem, and after it's uh, just uh, one, two example. Mm -hmm. Yes, agree. But now I not need uh, 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 the lecture uh, the traditional um, way. How? I uh, public my uh, presentation, my lecture uh, inside. A student has uh, accept in convenient time for this resource. And uh, when I go uh, to lecture, I just talk about only, uh, that's why environment uh, influence for uh, my way for um, uh, uh, teaching, teaching this question. It's, it's just example. Why environment? It's not only change tools, it's change, it's uh, my uh, mention. You see, yes, yes, it's, it's really, because a lot of uh, teachers uh, until now uh, just go to the uh, caf uh, cafeteria and just uh, write text and uh, uh, say students must be right exactly and follow uh, this text that's why it's more white than uh, just uh, computer tools Среда, о которой было произнесено триада, да, триада, в эту триаду входит среда, personal learning environment или просто информационно-образовательная среда. Вот мы, вот как, там не, не было расшифровки, ну, я другой хотел задать вопрос. Вообще, мне просто стоял вопрос о среде, и было непонятно, что такое среда. Сейчас очень распространено. Сейчас все говорят о персональной учебной среде, это очень понятно, принято. Uh, in the didactic model. Personal learning network. Это немножко, немножко, это немножко oh. выше стоит уже. В общем -то. То есть, no, на базе... It's a play of definitions. It's uh, not necessary. Uh, I, uh, uh, every time objections. Why? Because uh, now we go with the new, um, uh, new area uh, in knowledge. That's why uh, different scholars has uh, different uh, definition. <coughs> but uh, uh, from this report, you can uh, see uh, what uh, we mean when we talk about uh, information communication uh, pedagogical uh, space, yeah, environment. Но мне вопрос другой. Значит, у нас сейчас вся дидактика, вот весь процесс yeah. базируется на трех теориях. Behaviorism, Constructivism, Connectivism. Куда вы относите свою реакцию? К какому направлению? Это ближе к коннективизму или это конструктивизм? Ну, в таком контексте вопрос я думаю, больше конструктивизма. Нет, то есть выход за рамки. То есть за рамки коммунизма не планировалось. Uh, convenient for the people who are here to listen to... For both it's not convenient. Yes, because because it's not very appropriate. Yeah. No. Uh, I understand, but they do not understand anything. Um, may I ask... Uh, yes, yes, but we uh, note that uh, we have only one uh, uh, official language, English. Yes. Sorry. Yes. For me it's uh, difficult to uh, talk in English, but I try. It's <laughs> uh, are there other questions? Yeah. Oh, okay, please. A bit louder, maybe. Okay, yes. uh, You just love <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I want to ask you, uh, why, uh, if I uh, understood you in the right way, uh, why uh, uh, did you, uh, you use uh, like an indicator to measure uh, the importance of subject, uh, just a thing of students? Uh, is, it, is it valid uh, indicator? Uh, uh, you see, maybe uh, you 
don't mention because uh, first step of our investigation was uh, to make a validity, uh, validity of each subject and it was a group of some experts committee and they are uh, experts were teachers, scientists, uh, um, psychologists, and uh, people who are connected in this sphere. And according to their opinion, they uh, said that student is the main subject because his needs are the. Uh, yes, that's why we try to uh, questionnaire only uh, students. I did two students. One more question. Uh, how do you picture uh, three uh, subject uh, education? To picture? Yes. yes. The uh, subject is it's like a triangle with. Uh, no, no, I mean like real picture. How uh, can you uh, understand where is uh, the subject learning and where uh, is uh, three subject learning? and? Uh, uh, what uh, decision should we make uh, to uh, to make uh, our university to input our university in three subject uh, system? Okay, when teacher just use uh, ICT as a tools of education, it's uh, only subject subject didactics. Because it just optimizes his own uh, role, uh, his own maybe influence, and so on. And when it uh, put to ICTPE environment, yes, some functions, for example, um, sharing information, for example, uh, coordination something. For example, uh, monitoring students' knowledge or something else. That will be a three subjective model. Can you say that the teacher just delegate uh, some of his functions to the environment? And this is a three subjective model? Mm, not exactly. Because environment, it uh, takes on not only teachers', uh, uh, teachers functions, but uh, students too. Why it was to environment try to uh, learn something? Or no, it just provides them some information, provides them with the environment where they can um, make some practical work, where they can communicate with teacher and learn something. It may only con uh, uh, it may uh, contain even. Uh, uh, Dis di distant learning. Distant. Distant learning. And uh, what decisions should we make to, uh, to, to, to provide these relations in our university? Yes. It's a long process and I think that today we are a pathway on this, uh, to achieve this goal because we have uh, some special platforms that can teachers use. We have some uh, special classes for teachers to uh, be ready to use this platform. Do you think the resources are uh, main thing or maybe uh, attitude is main thing? Uh, uh, and you see, we have put uh, a group of requirements. Mm -hmm. They were not only resources, they were e software requirements and some maybe uh, in, in, uh, attitude of teachers and <coughs> students and there may be some communicative ethics mm -hmm. and so on. Thank you for uh, can I uh, clarify? Uh, uh, may I ask one question, please? Okay. Uh, uh, are the authors of the third paper here or not? Or the third paper, I mean, uh, uh, Natalia Morza, Elena, uh, Elena mm -hmm. Kuzminska, mm -hmm. and Galina no. Procenka, no. are they here? No. 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 Okay. That's why we have yes. Okay. Please. I just try to um, clarify uh, what the uh, main task of this article okay, and uh, <laughs> research. Today, in educational system is real. In US, in Finland, in Russian, in Federation, in Ukraine, we have the problem with view of things and behavior. That's why these two very important things is influence of didactic system. That's why the main task is show 
what are uh, how students think about environment and show people which doesn't want to use ikate doesn't want to change uh, skills educational skills as well for the real deductive process that's why this article show that students students which participate in this questionnaire yeah, show that uh, ICP is very important things in deductive system. We just measure attitude students for uh, environment. It was the main task of this article. We don't touch another aspects. A lot of aspects we uh, talk about uh, uh, new uh, space. But if, for example, if we compare us current time and 30 uh, years uh, uh, time, we can see it's a lot of difference. But a lot of my colleagues use its traditional technology. But me, with my uh, new skills, I'm element of uh, the, uh, information communication technology. It's, it's very important. Because, for example, my analysis show that uh, more than 50 persons of, example, didn't, never use Outlook, mm -hmm. never use email. How uh, this teacher can um, uh, teach uh, teaching uh, the students which live, because these students live in the new space. That's why it's a problem of view of things and behavior. This article dedicate these uh, issues. It just a little bit clarifying. For group on That's much better. Uh, now is a very important form a personal learning environment. In principle, it's not one. It's important. Uh, Task uh, ну, на данном этапе. То есть, да, да, да. Так. Э, то есть, и uh, now uh, it's analysis uh, now shows this uh, personal learning environment students is uh, very bad. Yes. И это важно. It's, uh, But it's every day we change. For example, when I uh, was uh, in US during two months I uh, uh, could see a lot of familiar uh, problems in university because a lot of uh, professor doesn't want use the new opportunities it is a uh, uh, contradiction it's a conflict between uh, point of view the some teachers and the students which has it's a absolutely uh, another quality uh, um, opportunities of uh, new environment it's a problem it's a problem mm -hmm. that's why we need measure we need measure from students is the really important things icp or no maybe it's only two three persons for students that's why we don't uh, uh, we don't need Um, uh, uh, consider uh, influence the new space for deductive process. I show uh, current uh, curve. Uh, okay, did you uh, see? Uh, uh, about, <laughs> about personal learning environment. It's uh, very. It's difficult. Uh, Learning in MOOC. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, no personal learning environment, no MOOC. No MOOC? MOOC. Mo uh, master Massive Open, open, open uh, uh, Online Course. MOOC. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very important. Okay, I think uh, the, the point, and maybe I, I'll try. Uh, When you have a class, it's, it depends on how the teacher uses yes. the technology. 
that says how effective it is. So in a MOOC, you, the faculty are more disengaged from the student. There isn't as much interaction, so it's not as effective for the learning as it is when the faculty or the teachers uh, get a lot more engaged with the student uh, you know, in, in a more personal space. And so I think that, that's the thing. You, you can't just measure the student behavior, you have to measure the faculty behavior and how, how much they want to utilize the engagement part of, of the, the, uh, the technology in the teaching realm. So. Ron's uh, continuation of the remark. Maybe this research is very uh, important in time when some new technology, pedagogical technology, emerged. Mm -hmm. Because we also, as civilization, had the same questions. For example, when we uh, massively used books, printed books. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was the same challenge for civilization. Yes. Not, not exactly the same, but almost the same. The yeah. It's the same. The almost the same. Why? I ca okay. Uh, In our yeah. article, not this article, it's a previous article, we show this problem because <coughs> we can uh, compare us um, maybe five uh, information uh, revolution. In the first revolution world, it was the big challenge for civilization. It's a PH civilization. After a PR, um, uh, hand uh, writing, yeah? It was the big challenge for a lot of people. After its API, uh, it uh, was uh, 550, yeah, well, 550 years ago, it's a, the new technology, uh, book uh, writing, printing, yeah? Gutenberg, it's open uh, this uh, revolution and changed a lot in deductions a lot, but a lot of people said, wow, it's very dangerous because a lot of young people uh, has uh, access to uh, the book. Wow, is it destroyed for civilization because uh, um, the read uh, without control, <laughs> every book, it will be a problem. Now, when appear uh, the new technology, uh, digital and uh, net technology, yeah, integration of this technology, we have uh, the new uh, challenge. We have That's the why we need, we need answer. We need answer. But a lot of my colleagues uh, uh, has behavior as uh, Strauss. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hide, uh, hide, uh, hide head uh, under, yeah, under itself. It's a problem. It's a problem. That's why we, uh, we just uh, measure. Measure influence in the new uh, space for deductive model. Okay. Um, uh, thank you. Well, um, we have got um, five minutes more, I think, if uh, anyone has any questions. Uh, we have got time because we have, uh, have to go to the uh, third um, paper, so let's begin. I wanted to uh, know if there's a difference uh, between IPCE and personal learning uh, environment. Because personal learning environment uh, is created uh, by teachers and is created just for learning. Uh, but uh, this concept is, uh, is uh, linked to, uh, to didactics like Fergin uh, and Montessori, where, uh, where the environment uh, is uh, subject and uh, ch uh, children can uh, learn just uh, using their space around them. So there is a difference and I think this term uh, is uh, by the uh, personal Ну, ну, это ответ. Это был ответ. Разница между персональной, ну,
Mm-hmm. A personal working environment creates students. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Okay. But teacher is uh, just uh, uh, opportunities for uh, students. Uh, uh, teacher uh, is opportunity. Uh, only uh, opportunity. Uh, but the uh, uh, resources. Make resources. Yes? Yes. But uh, uh, students, students, of students, students use this uh, opportunity or no? Oh no, no. Uh, As fish uh, come to salt. The rank of students is uh, your personal learning environment. Bad students, bad learning. Good students, well students, poor students, poor environment. Uh, well, it's just a joke, sorry. <laughs> It's just phenomenon. I see it's just phenomenon. It's, it's a challenge for us. And we must uh, answer for a lot of uh, yeah, questions yeah. which appear every day. Yeah. Because, for, for example, social network is an element of, by the way, is an element of environment. That's why I don't know how I can answer for this uh, challenge. Because for me it was the big uh, troubles when I uh, they need create the page and they need time for the uh, communications. It's a lot of troubles. It's a peer. New, new, new. I don't know. I want to share my experience because... <laughs> In our group, we, uh, we see uh, triade, uh, triade I can show, just show my, my, my own experience as I am a teacher, I, I taught database systems. Can, so can, can you introduce? I'm Natalia Kiberlev from Zaporozhye National University. I have participated in the conference with mathematics uh, uh, report, but now I'm just as a teacher. I'm just in, the, in, in my environment, in my okay. individual environment. So the problem was that I, I noticed that my students, after obtaining a task, a home task or whatever, they are organized a group in, in a social network to discuss, to share photos, <laughs> solutions, uh, some... It was, it was it's separated from It's not the I same work part. Exactly. Yes. Exactly, yes. Exactly. I was happy and just joined the group as a, as a, just as a silent uh, watcher, not as a moderator. So I just looked and I see that my, my skins are moved, are transferred, yes. and it, it was just... It was in social network. <laughs> That's why. Is the change deducted model or no? Absolutely. <laughs> But you I, didn't, answer I, didn't, for, uh, I didn't realize it, that it was an environment created by students and they allowed me to share this environment with them, actually. Because my first semester was, I was in troubles. I had all sliders, I had, I had all lectures, lecture notes, I had all labs, and they didn't work at all. So they had nearly to zero uh, achievement in the first semester and I was in big problems with my dean and so on. And then I decided to to, <laughs> to switch into some maybe active form and allow them to use whatever they want and it was in social media. Maybe you are talking about this because as far as I remember the, the graphs, they use the environment for processing and for storing. Yes. A kind of, right? Yeah. So the biggest, the biggest benefits was from storing and processing of yes. the But components. in the different form of uh, learning. Yes, yes, I understood. So photos, text, and comments on texts in, in social networks across our environment. <laughs> yes, it's a need deeply. It's a need continue exactly. this research because a lot of phenomena appear uh, every day. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Um, may, may I? <laughs> oh, many, many questions. I just wanted to ask uh, the one more question. I see that uh, I, <laughs> I'm not in time. Well, um, if uh, we divide the 30 minutes into two parts, uh, 50, 50 uh, minutes for <laughs> And uh, may I ask just uh, the last question, and uh, then I think uh, you will talk a lot <laughs> about these points. Uh, Outside just, of uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if um, it is. It will be the right question, but uh, when you uh, were making your speech, uh, you were uh, telling about about these diagrams, and uh, somehow the um, uh, measures which uh, you used were more than 20, 26 percent, 20, and so on. I see here. F- 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 uh, 14 
uh, is the uh, our highest point, and I do not understand what are they, uh, 20 and more. What are this percent of, what do, how did you get them and where are they? We have data. Uh, on the picture, um, we uh, see data is uh, mm, normalized to uh, all uh, all groups and all uh, processes mm -hmm. because because um, mm, because uh, we, we see. Uh, Relative, relative, relative uh, scale uh, on uh, uh, on this diagram. Yes. Uh huh. So uh, that was just a misunderstanding, mm -hmm. misunderstanding. Uh, relative, relative. Uh, on uh, not uh, equal uh, percent. Uh, this uh, normalized, uh, divided on uh, all. Uh, that the tool is uh, in your paper, so we can. Yes, yes. In the paper, uh, the, um, uh, the you can see. In the oh, okay, paper, okay, you can okay. See thank you very much. It's the process the of calculating. The numbers are very little. Um, mm -hmm. Not not understandable. <laughs> oh well, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let let us sometime. Thank you very much. Well, uh, and now it is time for the next speech. Uh, it will be represented by Mikhail Koshes and um, uh, from Finland. From Finland, yes. yes. Um, uh, that was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And germanization. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually I was just thinking two different things. Like one is how how does this fit in the previous uh, talk, and also how does it fit in the talk in the morning. The second thing I was thinking is that I should actually go quite fast because I already got one red card in the morning, and if I get a second red card, I cannot participate next year. So. <laughs> you have only 15 extra minutes, so. <laughs> okay, so it's not so dangerous. Okay. Um, so this paper is uh, quite different of what I'm normally researching. So I'm researching more in like semantic web related um, things, but I'm also a teacher. And this is basically a paper which is related to my teaching work. Um, so, okay, I'll just get started. So okay, my name is Michael Koshe. Then I've been working together on this paper with three other people from the university. There are basically two other teachers and one person who's doing only educational research. Okay, so that's what, we, what I will talk about. So first, I will quickly say what version control systems are, what they're used for, then what kind of courses we have been uh, looking at, and then basically what kind of analysis and results we have from those. So first, what is a version control system? So it's basically a system on which you can put any kind of versions of what you're working on. So you have some kind of thing which you're working on, you have one version, you put it to the system, you continue work, put it again to the system, continue work, put it again to the system. And the idea is basically that you keep, all, keep track of all those different versions over time. So that at some point you say like, oops, my previous version was better, you can go back to the previous version, or you can compare versions, you can, well, basically do anything you want with those older versions. Uh, they're typically used for programming code. So programs are very, or at least when they are going in industry, they are getting very familiar with this kind of um, systems. But as for all, any other kind of documents, for example, this presentation is also version controlled. All my research paper are version controlled because, well, it just has the benefits and you can go back to all the versions and compare and see what, what was better in yours and so um, Short history, so first, this kind of system, they were just in local file system. So basically you have some kind of directory where all the old versions are or some kind of something like this. Um, later they were moved to more network-based systems. So our CVS and SVN are, well, the SVN is at least at the moment still the most popular one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but nowadays, there are also like, what's, well, they are now better or worse as a big discussion, but at least they are newer, um, and they're distributed version control systems. So they're basically combining those two, so you have, you have this kind of, or you can have the one which is remotely, they also have the storage locally. So everything is stored locally, and this has big benefits um, because it's like it works much faster you do not need internet connection all the time you do not need to have the connection to the server 
Um, unified workflow is kind of more of a sales argument, I would say, because I don't think it's true. But anyway, um, it has a strong support for branching and merging. So it basically supports the fact that you're working in a team. So that, that there are maybe um, 15 people working on a project, and each of them is independently working on a certain piece. And then you get those different versions, or different like branches, as they're called. And then you have to kind of merge them again into one final product. So that's also supported by those systems. Examples which I have here is this Git system, which we have been researching on. There is Bazaar, there is Mercurial, there is uh, BitKeepers, and all of are many of these kind of systems now. Um, but the big question is like, why would we use them in education? Like, why would we use them in the courses? And the argument is, the main argument is that, well, anyway, they will have to use them later on when they go to the working life. They will come there and they see, okay, now we have to use certain control systems. Um, but they're also very beneficial for teamwork. So if there's teamwork inside a course, then those system also can help them to do the teamwork. And another argument is like the teacher can monitor the students, like see what they are working on and how their uh, progress is going. It's easier to give feedback, so the teacher can just take, check out basically whatever the student has and then give comments directly in the code or in whatever work is basically on the system. And then you do not need any like extra infrastructure for delivering the task because the version control system is basically also the place where the final task will be. And a streamlined and scriptable workflow, it's mainly um, from each perspective that you can like very um, not easily get all the tasks from the students so they are not somewhere in some system where you have to go and fetch them or very difficultly not kind of use a lot of time to go and get them like or fetch them from emails or something like that. But there are a couple of like uh, counterparts or counter arguments to using the systems. One is students might get quite confused with learning to use this tool. So the point is like they're actually they want to learn the topic of your course or the topic of what you're talking about, but in, instead they are spending a lot of time and actually learning to use this tool. Second one is the workload in teaching might increase. And it means that if the teacher is not familiar with this kind of uh, tools, then it's kind of like even would say close to useless because their systems are quite complex to use. So I disagree personally because for me it's, well, I'm, I'm used to the system, so for me it's nothing extra. Uh, and as I write here, so if the teacher has a technical background, it's probably easy. Okay, so we looked at three courses. Um, so, well, introduction software engineering, functional programming, and software oriented architectures in cloud computing course. Uh, so one was basic level, one was advanced. Um, you'd have to make some kind of project plan, so it's not programming code, it's more like a, well, more like text which you have to produce. And then um, this advanced course with like flipped classroom, which is the term is not, but it was about to come in the previous discussion, I think. So it basically means that the students are doing the main studying at home and they come to the classroom to make assignments only. Um, and one big difference between those courses is that here there is some kind of introduction to the version control system and the other is just assume that students get it somewhere. So we give them material but no lectures or other information. Okay, so what we did is basically we wanted to know how the students are actually using this system, like what do they actually do with it. Um, and to study this we basically took whatever they put on the version control system and then started doing certain analysis on, on those. Uh, the first thing we looked at is commit activity during the course. So basically, like, um, well, when do students commit? That's the question. Um, we used the method, um, basically, okay, we, we, as a size of a commit, so as a size of, like, amount of stuff they put to the system, we just took number of additions and deletions. So this is one metric, you can use another one, but well, this is the one we chose. Um, and now we used the statistical method, which is basically, um, well, I can explain more if, if people are really interested in this method, but the, the basic idea is that um, if you do not want to use a bar graph, and you or maybe I will just quickly give an example. So, oh. um, okay, I can use this small piece. So, um, let's say that if you have, uh, this is time, this is axis, uh, and this is basically size of the commit. This is the size of a commit. 
So what we basically do is, like, if we look at one comet, we see, for example, it happens at this time point, it is this big. What we then do is we draw a Gaussian per year with the standard deviation of which shows six hours. And we do this basically for every comet. So if we have a second comet, which is smaller, let's say here, we again draw a Gaussian and, and we have all those uh, curves. And then we superimpose them all on each other. So what you get in this case is you basically get the sum of this thing. And it will, I, I'm, okay, this is very difficult to estimate what this <laughs> would look like. Um, this is already too much. Anyway, so the point is that you just sum all those curves together. Um, and then you basically get a graph which looks something like this or like this. And the idea is that what you see here is this is time. And this is basically like how active the students were at that point. Now you see that we put here a 1. The reason is that we just actually normalize. So we could have put here some kind of number which is actually the size of the biggest activity at some point. But it's, it's a very, um, how to say, it's this kind of number which you cannot really compare with anything else. So that's why we just normalize things so that we don't have have to discuss this number because it does not make so much sense to discuss it. Um, okay, so what do we see from this? From, for software engineer, we see that there's actually quite little correspondence between deadlines and activity. And we see this kind of very big peak in the beginning here. And the reason for this is, well, most likely just during this session when we were introduced to the system, students were trying it and putting all kind of stuff on the system. Actually, when we look at the other courses, where we have this weekly sessions, we actually see very clearly these sessions are these lines, the first ones, let's say, every time. Um, during those, we actually have like a very steep peaks, and then it's like the deadline. So actually, we see that during the sessions, there is a lot of activity, and the deadline there is also always some kind of small peak still. Um, and the same we actually see in the other courses as well. So these are two different courses, but with the same or with similar model at least. Um, now, because of this, uh, because we see, we see those peaks here, so we were actually getting curious, like how how do well how do those peaks itself like look like itself, like if we go close to those. So that's exactly like commit activity during session. So if you just take one session and you see like how does it evolve over the session time. Um, we use similar methods, except that we um, basically like also superimpose all the lectures or all those sessions on each other. So the point is that um, if I take one of those graphs, this is the beginning of the session. Let's say that this is the end of the session. And then we just like add them all together. So we basically stack them all. So it's basically like a stack bar graph, if you want to, the analogy. Um, but we did one more thing. We actually noticed that if we take 15 minutes after the session, we see something interesting. And that is actually that there is some kind of like uh, bump here, actually in the end of, we saw it in both courses happening. Um, so we see actually three like areas of increased activity so far. One is in the very beginning, and one is like, let's say, in the first hour, and now we see this one in the very end. And the point is that, um, well, we can only guess why those actually are more active. So we, this is just kind of like, like from a teacher perspective, we just kind of think and we just see what students are doing and talk with students. So this is kind of guesswork. So we have to do maybe like some kind of questionnaires to get more clear view of this, but, but still. So maybe students don't even know that they are doing it like this is kind of a question. But anyway, what we do think is that like, okay, one is like at the very start, students are just committing the work which they've been doing at home. So they're coming to the classroom with their work finished and they only commit it when they are there when other, other students can agree with what they made. Um, and this period is kind of unclear. It's like they're just working act more active in the beginning as in the end, I would say. And then after the session, it's like people have not been committing anything the whole time. They just put everything in the end. So actually, those two, at least, they indicate that the students are not really using the system as they should, because they should be committing all the time. They should be like making a small change and actually put it to the system. So what they're now doing is like making big changes and then putting it as a whole. OK. I don't know how much time I have left. Mm. Is it still fine? Oh, yeah. Okay. No yellow card. No yellow card. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, then we actually were also curious, like, what is inside those messages? So, um, so when a student writes one of those commits that they are called to the system, so one of those versions, he can he has actually has to write some kind of message there uh, about what he has been changing. So. We did a very basic analysis, 
uh, we just did a categorization of messages. So the, the main reason is that there are so many messages that we would have to categorize them all in quite a huge world. So we're talking about about 1,500 messages, or here about 1,600 messages per core. So it's kind of a lot of work to do. But anyway, we made some classification, which basically is like useful, trivial, and nonsense. So um, nonsense means, well, it means nonsense. There is just some characters. There is just nothing information there. Trivial basically means it's something like I changed file number one, but it's already clear from the or from the system that file one has changed. And then all the rest we got categorized as useful. So there are still messages which are actually quite bad, like they, they don't give any information, though, but they are still still not in the other categories. So that's but the main our main point is that we're looking at those to see is like you get about 20-30% still of these kind of messages which are just completely actually kind of useless. So useful, useless, that's actually the, um, how we discriminate this. So it's still quite a significant amount. Uh, and it kind of indicates that students, they actually do not use the system to um, to communicate with each other. So they just use this kind of system to put their stuff and then they write something, it does not matter what, because they will tell each other anyway through some other channel, maybe, well, but maybe they send actually email to each other like what they've changed or I don't really know. So it's still on feed. Um, and then we we're also curious about if you have like one group and um, different students are working in this group, like how different is their activity? So, um, so, so if, if you have like a group of five and what, what you actually expect or what would be like ideal cases that every one of them is doing 20% of the work, right? Like, or 20% of the activity in the version control system. Um, now, what we see, or okay, what we actually like looked at is the fraction of commits of the most active student. So we take the most active student of each group uh, and see what his percentage actually is on the whole, uh, on all the commits of the um, of the group. So. Then you get some charts. Um, basically, okay, they're a bit difficult to see here, but basically what we would expect, as I said, like, okay, this is the group size, so two, three, four, or five, and those are different courses. So um, if you have a group size of two, what you expect is basically 50%, so 50-50 kind of like how much they put there. So we see in the graphs actually that the 50% is actually very, well, it is there in one quarter of the cases here, but a significant amount where actually there are more active students as, as average. And actually you see the same in the other graphs if you go to bigger group sizes. So um, for example here, the, well, if you have a group of five, you get 20% which you kind of expect. But then what you actually see here is actually more the colors like this kind of very, um, well, which show that actually the group's quite much out of balance and activity on the system. Does this mean that the students have been working at different performance? Well, we don't actually know, because what we actually measure is the number of commits. So it is kind of like we want to see how active they are in the system. We cannot really see how active they were in the groups. It's a different uh, different thing to measure. OK, so then the final thing we looked at is the what kind of stuff do they actually put on the system? So a virtual control system, um, what you typically put on there is source code. Okay. So you would not, so if you have like source code, then you do not put the compiled versions there. So you only put the basic, and if you need, so if you want to compile first, you can compile it yourself. So what we did is basically looking at the, what what is actually there, and um, it's very different between the courses. So if we look at a course like this functional programming course, um, well, we actually see that. Most of the students actually do not have much garbage, as we call it. So like all this kind of stuff, it should not be there in the system. But if we look at the other courses, so software engineering is about 50%, which has a lot more. And actually, in software, parental architecture, cloud computing, there's a lot of garbage on the system. So a lot of compiled files, a lot of um, even documentation, which is copied from in, from the web. It's just put there together, instead of just having a readme file with a link or something like this. So. Um, what we think is actually suggests is that um, students are just putting everything which is inside their current folder to this version system, and they actually do not mind that this is kind of version system. They just want to have their current con content stored, and for the rest, they do not mind so much. 
the reason we think this is because actually in those two courses there just is a lot of a lot less um, compiled files in the Wharton director. So in this course it's very little because most of it can be like done can from the fly. In this one students were actually also told that they should not put any stuff and in this one they were not told anything. And what we see like this kind of optimal case does not happen at all. But actually we see like a lot of this kind of like 40 to 60 percent or even 60 to 80 percent of the stuff which is there should not be there. So but we still have to see more like what more conclusions we can get out of this. So this is still information. Okay, so this was quickly the different parts which we were looking at. Thank Any you. Questions? in the sense that we do not accept, it, accept anything else. Um, yeah, so basically they have to use it. I mean, um, or at least, let's say that the final version of their work has to be there. Mm -hmm. So it is not like we are forcing them to make commits or something like this. So what they can in principle do is um, just, let's say, right before the deadline, put everything there. And that's fine enough. Mm -hmm. And the uh, yeah. second question is, uh, how do you check the correctness of uh, task? I mean, um, how do you check that this student, uh, he has his works, but uh, it's uh, his works, his own work, not uh, maybe his uh, took for somebody else, else's work and uh, submitted in the and books. So or it's the your question is like, like, do we check for plagiarism on the web or do we check between the students? Um, if it's cheating, first of all. Yeah, it's, it's cheating what you basically mean, like, mm -hmm. so, okay, one of the things is, and this is, um, actually like completely going against our kind of like answer to your question. In this course, for instance, all the repositories are open. So everyone can check each other's work. Mm. It's actually us like advised to do so. So actually this is very much connected to the uh, previous presentation in the sense that nowadays um, studying or getting grades or something like this, it should perhaps be less connected to like how well you perform in like some kind of, like you have certain points which you have to get and you just mark them and then you have full grade, let's say. So nowadays I think that uh, it, it is a bit difficult. I mean, um, I mean, if, if you just have this kind of checklist, then students can in principle just give you the same version, change some names or stuff like that, be a bit smart, and then you will not notice. Or uh, maybe so. students have different uh, tasks? Um, it's uh, one task for everybody. It's, it's in most cases one task for everybody. But actually even just kind of like, um, mm -hmm. But we just tell them, like, if you don't know, go and check on the other one. So it's not like we are trying to hide them from each other. They are, they are public and they are there. Uh, so, okay. By the way, if the student uh, doesn't want anyone else, uh, from, I mean, the yes. students, to see his work, uh, probably Actually, he's afraid of something or doesn't want, just doesn't want to show it. Yeah. Someone went, but the teacher, what? Yeah, so it, it is possible to do those uh, things private as well. Uh -huh. uh, the request has not come from students, actually. So it's, it's, it's maybe the teaching environment or the learning environment which is a bit different there. So it's less, there's less competition, let's say. It's, students are not so competitive. <coughs> like they are, want, actually want other people to check their stuff. They do it themselves as well. Thank you. More questions, please. Please, uh, please could you give an, uh, an example of an assignment, say, in uh, functional programming course, <coughs> which student uh, get which causes such commit rates? or bandwidth. Just an example of an assignment, uh, for example, in functional programming course. Um, okay, so functional programming is not my course, but I, I've taken the course myself at some point, a couple of years ago. Um, normally those tasks, they consist of just a set of exercises which you have to complete. So they are actually normally quite small. I don't know whether I'm answering your question or understanding it correctly, but they're just kind of like weekly tasks. So they're weekly to be finished, and then they have time during the sessions to complete them. Mm -hmm. um, weekly task in programming? Yes. So it's a programming task every time. So there is no like um, theoretical part in those courses normally. Mm -hmm. Does it answer your question? Yeah. Thank you. Please. Uh, okay, I have another question. So the idea is how to evaluate if the code is correct. 
if the if the uh, if the answer of the student is correct, he just put a code into the system, into the virtual control system, mm. and you analyze it. Okay? Yes. Mm. Usually, it depends. It depends actually. Mm -hmm. um, I know that the teacher who's teaching this course, he has like quite a lot of students, and this this analysis is actually now more autom automized. But in the case of this uh, service area architecture cloud computing, the tasks are actually so big and complicated, it's not possible to automate. Because I see, I, I see here two extensions, maybe two directions to do. Mm -hmm. First, I know they did provide diff. Yes. So you could just you, you could just have a set of students' uh, results, of students' mm -hmm. code, and you just put a diff among pairs of the students, and yeah. now you know about the good like about chicken. Plagiarism, yeah. Uh, by the by the mean of diff. Exactly. Yes, right. yeah, it is true. I mean, it, it has been the same answer to the previous question, like about cheating that. Um, yeah. But the point is that if you are a bit smart, then you will actually not notice it so much. So you just play it up in a different way, and then you will see a lot of difference, but there is actually no difference. Because um, the div is not so smart. Actually. And the next idea, or maybe a direction, mm -hmm. is that uh, why not to combine the idea of version control uh, with an idea uh, that is used on the problem context. Then there is a test set. A set of tests mm -hmm. that are correct. Okay. For the input data, you obtain a correct answer, mm -hmm. and you just not manually check the code, but you just put this code into the testing system, mm -hmm. and the testing system itself says it's okay and it's not okay. Actually, this just is just addition to th this is already used actually. Um, so there are actually in, in all of these courses, or in just not, not, not in our <laughs> courses. Mm -hmm. So actually, I'm saying it's used already mm -hmm. in this kind of MOOCs. They are using this. The, um, so they're exactly using that you commit certain code mm -hmm. to Git, then you give the link to uh, this repository, and then they go check it somehow against some kind of unit test mm -hmm. uh, framework. So mm -hmm. yes, it already, it, it's already used somehow. So. Mm -hmm. But then I know that the f mm -hmm. actually the, the person who is doing the functional programming course is doing something similar. It's actually implementing something like this. Mm -hmm. But it only works for kind of simple cases, let's say. So the functional programming course, there are a lot of this kind of very small task like write a function which is reversing a string. Something like this. And now you can do this kind of thing. But if you have this service or detection cloud computing things like for example one of the tasks could be like uh, write a system which is so you have two web services which is synchronizing those two web services somehow with each other and then not tests. And they're not in our control wing, so mm -hmm. this is not possible to check right? mm -hmm. Please. Uh, <coughs> okay. uh, I'm trying to understand what are the advantages we get from uh, using uh, version control systems uh, after your previous answer. Uh, I understand that uh, verification of student solutions uh, don't have anything to do with the version control system. Uh, verification. To verify uh, their solutions is a great amount of work. Um, mm -hmm. What are advantages? What are the advantages you get uh, from using the uh, uh, version control system in for the teacher or in the courses for the teacher? Yes, uh, okay. in the courses connected to mm -hmm. with programming. So, um, so uh, okay, I will just answer like from personal perspective. So it's, it's yes, yes. Um, I said the main thing is that I can very closely follow the progress which they are doing. And basically, um, in one of the courses which I'm teaching, it's not actually in, in this study, but one of the courses I'm teaching, um, they make like a longer project of the whole span of the course. And every week I basically check their work. And I can basically follow the progress all the time. So I basically check their log, their logs of what they've been changing. And then I can see what they've been doing. So I can compare those two versions with each other very easily. But I, I do agree that it's like, is it, is it like only in a virtual control system? I mean, do you need a virtual control system to have this kind of benefit? Well, that's a bit... Virtual control system makes it easier, I would say. It's not necessary, maybe. Or... It looks like uh, your work, since you started using a virtual control system, uh, increased many times. Because uh, earlier, you uh, had to verify student solutions only, for example, once. A term, and um, yeah, we could, you we could take the same multiple versions of the yeah. same program. You uh, verify them each week. Yes. Where do you uh, get time needed 
to, to do but, all that but, stuff. Okay, there, there are two things, to, I mean, there are two ways to answer this question. So one is to say, like, we can do the same right now. We can just wait till the end and then take the answer and then we have to save. So you can right. periodically, uh, you periodically it is what I'm now all the doing. student versions of the... It is what I've not been doing. But um, the point's okay. I should, I should clarify that I'm talking about nine groups of students, in this case, where I'm checking regularly. Um, and I'm only checking the solution for the whole group, so it's kind of like the same thing. But the po my point is just that you can make them use a first control system and only take the very last solution and check that one if you want. And you do not have extra work. Uh, excuse me. Do they all have personal uh, assignments? No. Or only one group. assignment per group? Yes. Actually, okay, I want to. Uh, more questions. Yes, on what textbooks you are teaching the students? I'm actually not using, Soft we are not using, we are not using any textbook. Programming. Actually, functional programming, okay, so the materials are all online. We are not using fixed textbooks. Mm -hmm. And we are every time when we are having new topic, basically we are trying to find a collection of materials which we give to the students. Mm -hmm. We do not have fixed textbooks. So that's the answer, there is no textbook. Uh, and one more question. Um, is the process uh, of uh, uh, calculating of um, students' activity, activity um, checking it some, uh, in an automatic way, or how do you check the activity in SVN or what you use, as I understand? Um, um, how wait. do you check the activity? You mean you mean like how did you calculate those uh, results? Yes, yes. So okay. those are those are done by scripts. I mean, we did not by hand ah, calculate no, okay. it. So everything's yeah, everything is programmed. So, based so that, that, that is uh, accessible. That information is accessible. Yeah, and uh, uh, I mean, uh, just uh, you told that uh, you know we studied uh, the activity of the students in uh, some periods of time. That mm -hmm. was just interesting. How did you do that? Uh, or that depends on uh, the files which were. Uh, in, uh, so we can we can just see the whole history all the time. Oh, just just okay. Yeah, okay. so we just see the history. Thank you. So. Uh, more questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was uh, the last paper we uh, were going to hear today. Thank you very much. And the session is closed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.